Greetings ladies and gentlemen, CCX here, welcome back to Corona Cross. In the last episode, we ended up getting out of the wonderful, mysterious zone of canvas, thanks to Harley, and we got Spring, who is worse than Gully, and Harley on our team. And now, in this episode, we're actually going to continue on forward and try to figure out some answers as to what the hell is going on, and how can we get our bodies back? Long story short... We do have to go. We're, it's going to be very weird. Ah! Demi humans! What do you monsters want from us? Yo. Excuse me, Giza. What kind of attitude is that? I will kick your derriere to the moon. Huh. Nah, it's probably, um, coincidence that, you know, Harley said the same exact line that Kid said. But I'm pretty sure that has nothing to do with anything. I hope. Anyways, if we come here, you can actually see that dog that we could have recruited before, but we can't recruit it now because reasons. I don't talk to them humans, now scram. Ganji, Ganji will never live up in the Radius legacy as a village chief. Oh, Chief Radius will come back soon. The record of fate makes no mention of me meeting a demi human. No, no, you must be mistaken. Okay. Okay, well, that was fun. This village is pointless. Let's leave. <laughs> For the record, though, I will say this is actually the part of the game where my memory kind of goes... And I kind of forget certain things. And there's like no amount of practice that can literally help me, per se. Okay, you know what? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna leave this place. No, no, no. It's it's okay. It's okay, Lena. I don't care what you have to say, but we're just gonna leave because you people are about as hopeful as actual NPCs. All right. Oh, we. Oh yeah, that's right. We can't get past here because we never did. Hmm. Yo, what's up? Can we get past? Can we, can we get through? Who? Who the? The poor army is currently investigating the area. It is off limits to the general public. Our investigation should be complete soon. Please don't scratch my eyes out. What the? Uh, uh. Okay, so you want to know something? I think we need to go back to the other world. This is not helping. Time to go back to Apasa Beach. Luckily enough, Kid's amulet didn't go away from us, so Astro Amulet, oh ho! What's wrong, Lynx? Don't tell me the dimensional gate won't open. Heh, you mean hot water now? Shut up. Of course it won't open. The missing piece is the world has been found. There is not nothing we can do. You are not just a, you are now just an unwanted piece. Very interesting. What are you gonna do now, Lynx? Oh, how about we go explain your situation to your mo mover? We may be able to find something out. All right, I guess we're going to go visit our mother. I wish that the game didn't really... I mean, I wish... That, like, some dialogues is, you know, obvious, while some are not obvious. Whatever. Let's go ahead and speak to our mom and see what she has to go and say. Even though I don't know why we have to go ahead and talk to her. She's probably not going to believe that we are we. Yo, mama. What is, is the ups? Who might you be? May I help you? What? What did you just say? You're Surge? Please explain to me exactly what is going on here. Well, you see... I see. So that man told you to go to the Sea of Eden. I really don't know about dimensional distortions or about the other world. But, if, but like you say, something big is really on the verge of happening. It may have all started 14 years ago on the night of the storm. That night, your father, Wasuki, and his friend, Miguel, set out to sea. Despite a storm, it was an emergency. They were swallowed by the high waves and lost consciousness. When they came to, they found themselves inside the Dead Sea. A place where no living creature dares enter. I don't know what he saw or what happened, but that incident changed your father. And your father's friend, Miguel, that was Lena's friend, father, 
he never returned. Back then, that place wasn't called the Dead Sea. Yes, I believe they called it the Sea of Eden. That was 14 years ago. Are you the ones that everybody is talking about? <gasps> it's Old Man Jenkins! No, this can't be. Are you Lynx? You're still alive? Step outside, Lynx. For I, too, was once a valiant member of the Oscian Dragoons. I must put a stop to you. La la la. Geezer, I wouldn't show off like that. That is if you want to live. Do not underestimate the power of Monsieur Lynx. One blow and it's off to the other world with you. Silence! Now step outside! Huh. Oh, well... Um, hold on. First off, we didn't really step outside. You're kind of fighting me right here, but whatever. It's time to fight Rodius. On God! Sure, Rodius, green and a old man geezer who could actually fight. Who would have guessed, considering we met him in the other world? So that ain't nothing new. All right. So, Rodius, you want to go ahead and show me your true strength? Fine then. Ah, now off to a good start now, are you, my dear boy? Yeah, get him. Oh, crap. Old fight. <laughs> gotta keep, gotta keep hitting him because we are, I don't, this is. Ah, doppelganger, transform yourself into a previous bet foe. So, essentially, we can go ahead and peach, peach, bomb, wrath, and you know what? How about we transform into a cat burglar? Spring has the capability of transforming into Pacific monsters that we've already previously met. What that means is that it's kind of the reason why her um, element grid sucks. And that's kind of the reason why. Now you notice that the element grid is a little bit larger for her now. It's more so because of that gimmick, the gimmick that she has to offer. And that's pretty much it. Harley here does not have the capabilities of stealing, sadly, so we are kind of, you know, forced to not be able to steal anything. All we have is Moonbeam and all that other nonsense. Moonshine, which I actually did not read what it did, so it's probably going to do something. Ah, magic defense is temporarily increased. Well, that's good. Let's beat up this old man. We're beating up a person that we never have met in our lives. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> so apparently he's out for revenge, considering that Lynx is not supposed to even be here. Which makes sense. Alright, time to go ahead and see what the Cat Burglar can do. Yeah, punch him. Punch him. Oh, not long shots. Okay, samurai, watch out. This guy's a mother effing samurai. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Now how about we go ahead and do the cat burglar's signature move. Temporarily keeps hit at a basic 99 hit rate. Oh, that's actually a really good ability. And it's not a um a normal it's not a special either. It's an actual ability that we can get. Oosh. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, fine. Harley, since he end up doing some weird samurai technique at you, what? It, oh, he's down. I stand defeat. Yeah, damn right you did. Yeah, suck it, you old man bastard. All right. And we're healed all, too. That's good. Hmm, I do not sense any malice in your attacks. Do you really mean to tell me that you are not Lynx? And it's true that the General is still active in the other world. Yeah, he's actually still alive. He's actually not dead, ironically. Here, the General has been missing for the past three years. Oh, then he's definitely dead then in this world. 
Understood. I shall accompany you. We may still have a chance to save the general and riddle in the other world. Zat. What? The geezer is only going to get in his way. Harley, shut up. Sorry, Spriggs. You gotta... I mean, I love your ability, girl, but you're not gonna really do much for me. First, we must head to Termina and gather news about General Viper's disappearance from this world. Don't worry, we will find a clue to return to the other world. Yeah, because as of right now, we can't really do anything because we don't have the ability of getting back to the original world. I mean, to the other world. So, we just have to go ahead and um get some idea. Anyways... Roddy is here. He's got like a frack loads of. He's kind of almost have the same elemental grid as um Surge, which is good, cause you know. Anyway, let's check his equipment. Silver staff, iron mail, blah 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 blah. blah knee, knee pad. His helmets and I guess anti yellow. I don't know. I'm just putting in anything. <laughs> All right, so our next stop is going through the same area as we went to in the other world. But this time, there are new enemies. I hope. There he is again. Why does he look like that? What is he? Our investigation is done. Let's get the hell out of here. I want to go back to Pora. Okay, so maybe there are no new enemies here because we met these dog enemies before. The only thing I will say that makes the difference between these monsters and the other monsters, these monsters are a little bit stronger. All right, let me go into detail. The monsters you met in, when you first met the monsters in another or home world, those monsters will be stronger in the opposite world when you meet them again. So that dog, it is stronger here than it is in the un in the other world. So just be warned by that. Also, that bird has already gone back crack crazy. Not sure why. I guess, you know, it's probably still angry that we stole the egg, even though we haven't stole the egg yet. But there is no egg over there, so we don't have to really worry too much about it. And is there anything specifically over here that I need to get? Besides some treaders. Lynx received the infer infrared vision. Oh, yeah, I'm... Definitely not equipping that. <laughs> that looks like a pain in the ass to look at. Also like a chalkboard. Also, these little things move around whenever you exit out of battle and in battle. So be careful. Ah, more mithril. Good. That means when we get the ability to customize, we don't have to worry about it. I don't have to go down there because I don't think there's anything down there. See how those things just move just now? They don't show you them moving, but they only move once you um, exit the screen and come right back. Yeah, 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 whatever, you dumb bird. Do you have anything up there of any... Ah, you do have a treasure chest. Okay, so I kind of do want that treasure chest then. Alright, so we're going to go fight that dodo. Hopefully the rock worm thing moved away so we can be able to actually run and get the treasure chest and then run, this, and run back up so we don't have to worry about it. Right, cool. We might actually run into the bird though, because you know the game. Oh no no! Come on come on come on come on! Yeah! All right. Got the mitro and didn't have to fight the dodo because the dodo is stronger in this world than it is in the other one. Even though the enraged one when you steal the egg is stronger in that world too. So. What's the difference? Not a damn thing. All right. Let's avoid the little pup because we don't need to fight them unless we need to, but we really don't. So let's go. All right. Now, there are many differences in this place. As you see here, this is the Viper Manor. You notice that it looks awfully destroyed. Well, that's because it is. This place has been ransacked tremendously. The poor army is currently investigating. This area is off limits until things clear up. Which, by the way, 
they won't clear up no time soon, but this place was utterly decimated by probably Lynx. We're gonna just assume. We're 15 minutes in, but we're not done yet. Also, Terminal looks completely different. Also has a new soundtrack too, which I actually, I think I like this soundtrack better than this other one, but boy, it looks like crap. Lynx, how dare you have the nerve to return to this town? Get out of here. Looks like the youngin's an unwanted guest here too. Humans are very selfish, nun. To think that they used to bow their heads down to curry favors with Mizir Lynx. <laughs> Sorry. We're always searching for someone or something to lay their blame on. Oh, as much as I don't like to say this, that's humans for you. Gotta blame somebody else. When it's not, if it's not your fault, always blame somebody else, because apparently that's all we have, that's all we can do. We're not really brave, is what I'm trying to say. Only a few of us are brave. I don't care, I'm gonna say it. Fuck em. We're low on stock right now, but please look around. Huh, I'm actually shot. Lisa is still here. Tablets, Cure Plus, Antidotes. Oh, I'm gonna need a crap load of your capsules, Lisa. Ah, thank you, Lisa. All right, um, Bush Basher, Arrow Blaster, we can use another one of those. We can use an Electric Bolt, we can use another Ice Blast, and we can use another Magma Burst. I mean, we have like a crap load of them, but you never know. Removes white status effect and remove, well, those don't really affect us all that much, considering they probably go away, but eh, whatever. All right. Let's enter this place. Even though I'm here relaxing, I can't shake away this mysterious mystery from my mind. Sure, why not? It happened about three years ago. General Viper and his men disappeared from the manor. We searched the manor for them, but found no trace. I can only guess that they were spirited away. Ah, I love that movie, even though I've never seen it. The thing that, how can you love a movie if you've never seen it? Eh, I'm getting to it, don't worry. I just can't help but being afraid, even when they're trying not to think about it. Eh, I'm pretty sure they A-O, A-O-K. -okay. The Dragon Glory is a head above the rest. It soups down deep, just as the rumor said. And this rare dried lizard dish is great too. Oh, you're talking about, oh, you're talking about eating. You, weren't you the guys that serve Viper's Manor? Get yourself out of here. Our beautiful tournament has been turned into a mess because of you. We don't serve your kind here. Wow, racist much? My damn. You know what? That's probably the reason why Marbuel hates you guys. And I'm talking about the other the other world Marbuel, not the Oh wow, okay. I'm sensing a bit of confliction between both Marbuel hating humans and humans hating demi humans. So a lot of racism in this game. Not sure I'm a big fan. Ooh, I wonder if we can pick up that sword now. Probably can't, but you never know. I checked the sword in the ground over there, but it was just rusted. It's probably called a sacred sword in honor of the lost member. Oh yeah, it pretty much is. Beneath the sacred sword, the warriors lie. 13 Ossian Dragoons, Grandmaster Garaya. 14 Ossian Dragoon, Grandmaster Daria. Garaya, forgive me. Hmm. Gara. Something tells me we might meet that guy. Call it a hunch. And something tells me we might also meet Dario as well. Also call it a hunch. Nobody dies in this game unless they're dead by us. Killed by us, not dead by us. That didn't make any sense. Your threats lack conviction. What brings you here? You shouldn't come around here on a whim. The spirits here will wake if you disturb them. Living beings, living beings are too radiant for spirits. Just last night, a man's spirit appeared by bedside. He said his name was Getz, Getz or something. You probably know the soul still attached to this world. Very common around here. In any case, it's something concerning you. Now run along and go home. Oh, okay, fine, lady. Sheesh. Why does everybody hate us so much?
Alright. The real section that we're supposed to go to is we're supposed to go up. Oh, not really. Wow, this place is completely different when it's surrounded by being taken over by the military. But then again, that's pretty much obvious. And there's nobody here. Oh, wait. Yo. Ah, that should do it. This here forge has always had fire since olden times. It's sad to see it without its blaze. My apologies, closing the shop for my own selfish desires. I had listened to you for the longest time, and I didn't want to hear you. And I didn't want to hear you foolish now. Or am I not there? So you're really going? Aye. Now that the dinner, the dinner have the shop no more, like, say, it's time to, I can't understand that. You stay here and wait for Crash return. It's already been three years. These years haven't been too good for us. Our best pa patron and the dragoons disappear. Patroons, blah, blah. Well, since we've had such bad luck till now, sure, all right, fine as well. I don't read all this is a nuisance. You're all travelers, aren't you? Are you s no, we have not. He's a pretty rough character, but he's a good boy. He's tough having a s it's rough to have a son. I wonder what could have happened at the Dead Sea. Now let's talk to him. Rodius, it's been a while. How fares the village? You need not worry about the village. There are bigger things to concern us. Ah, I'm guessing you're no from around here. You thing called the rainbow. It's a superb material that can be forged into anything. I think I'm searching for this rainbow. You wouldn't mind. Sure, why not? Use this any time and I'll find you and do my job anywhere. Give me the word. The Smith Spirit. Which you need to be able to actually forge the rainbow weapons and armor. I won't take uh, I won't take him with us just yet. I kind of want to keep Radius in the team for a while because he just joined us. Like sheesh. Call me anytime you like. No problem, dude. But all right, I'm actually gonna end the part here because we because the thing what we're trying to do we actually need ourselves a boat, and we won't be able to get ourselves a boat no time soon. Not until answers have been met. So. Guys, in the next episode, we'll be trying to find ourselves a boat. CCX, over and out. Laters.